Ever since I got an alcohol stove, I've been looking for the holy grail of the perfect fuel bottle. And as you can see, it's been a long process, but safety is key. So I'm going to cover some of the issues of working with bioethanol or storing fuel generally. But I could have made my life a lot easier by getting a Trangia fuel bottle. How much? 20 quid. Yeah, as I said in the intro, I wanted to try and use a recycled bottle. I mean, the names of the channel are Hard Up Hiker. I'm not going to spend 20 quid on a Trangia fuel bottle, about 15 to 20 quid in the UK. I'm sure they're brilliant. I like the idea of actually using recycled things or cheaper bottles because I'm sure if you lose one of the Trangia fuel bottles or it, or it breaks, you'd be a bit gutted at, at 20 quid. So, yes. We're going to go through these. It's been a gradual process to try and find something that works and doesn't leak. So we're going to have a game show I call Whose Bottle Is It Anyway? Or Would I Leak For You? Or Fuel's Eye? Yeah, you just you insert a pun here. In one, contestant one is a feisty little number at 100 mil. They used to work as a nib cleaner. And likes pina coladas and walks in the rain and has a prominent nozzle. <laughs> in two, contestant number two has an eye for contacts. On the plus side, at 390 mil, they don't like health food, but they like champagne and used to work at Boots dispensing saline solution. In three, contestant number three likes making your fuel minty fresh. It's a small number at 90 mil and used to dispense mouthwash. Ooh. In four, contestant number four would like to say hello to Vera and likes big bananas and making love at midnight on the Cape. Ooh. At 250 mil, they're a medium size with a flip top cap and like to squirt everywhere. Ah. In five, contestant number five likes speed and is a professional fuel bottle. Oh. Is a medium size at 250 mil and has a special flip top cap. Ooh. In six, contestant number six are twins who come from Superdrug. They both like travel and one has a flip top cap and the other one likes to pump. They are both 100 mil. In seven, contestant seven is also a double act from Poundland. One is a tonic for the eyes, the other one likes pumping and foaming, and both are 200 mil. When we're talking about fuel bottles, I think the most important thing is safety. Don't go away. Don't go. <laughs> because it is an important part that actually the bottle does keep the fuel safely and what the problems are and why some of these bottles are not the best storage. And... The first one is leeks. Yeah, those horrible green things. They taste horrible. I hate them. No, not those leeks. Leeks from the bottle. Because you don't want your fuel to leak everywhere, not only because you lose it, but it's, it's quite dangerous if you've got your whole backpack and your sleeping bag soaked in bioethanol. It's, you shouldn't really touch it. You shouldn't really be anywhere near it. But also, it could just go woof. So, you know, it, it's, this stuff is... 90 odd percent proof 95 percent something like that there's a few other things in there to make sure you don't swallow it which is we'll get to that in a minute that's why bottles like this are a problem this is very similar to the vargo bottle is that not only can the top this top come open in your bag i found that if you invert this upside down and squeeze it especially if this is a slightly not shut so much but even if it is it, it, it leaks out the top. There's a, you can squish it and hear air coming out, so it's, it's not that good. And I found that with this one as well, that the Boots uh, contact lens solution bottle, which is, you know, lovely and big, 360 mil, in fact, it holds more than that. Um, but yeah, it leaked in my rucksack. Uh, not good. The other one, number two, is don't use water bottles. Now, I know some of you are going to be like, Hey, I use water bottles all the time. Well, you might have noticed this stuff is clear. Bioethanol looks like water, 
it won't smell like water, but if you just swig it, that's really dangerous. It's very easy to mistake bottles in the dark in a tent in a you know in the middle of the night. You know you might want to drink a water, kids or somebody else might not realise it's it's actually fuel. So, I think the best thing to do is avoid water bottles if you can and store it in a bottle that you wouldn't usually be drinking out of. Hence why a lot of these bottles are things like aloe vera bottles, mouthwash bottles, saline solution bottles, things you wouldn't usually be swigging out of. If it's got a flip cap, you'd be like, what's that? You know, so it automatically means you, you know, you're not going to drink from it. And three, relate to uh, caps. You also want a bottle that if you knock it over, oh no. It doesn't just spill everywhere. Whereas if you've got a cap or a pump or a nozzle or a, one of those things, it is less likely to just spill everywhere. Some of it might spill, but most of it won't. It's very easy in a tent just to knock bottles over. And another related thing is people were asking what kind of plastic to use in a fuel bottle, any plastic. Protect up the safety specs for most plastics. Uh, you, you know, any of the sort of the plastics manufacturers will have large safety lists and alcohol bioethanol alcohol won't react to plastics pet bottles are fine the most inert and least reactive is the white plastic which is ldpe or hdpe so these are probably the most inert but i mean you get alcohol in you know bottles like this you know you get alcohol in all kinds of bottles including clear so it's fine and in fact these products contain alcohol the banana boat for some reason the aloe vera has alcohol in it this tea tree oil yeah alcohol denat in it mouthwash bottles are designed to have alcohol in it i don't know so much about these travel bottles but it's you know it's pet so usually yeah it's pet if you look at the bottom you'll see what the type of plastic it is. The bioethanol I get comes in those clear, clear pet bottles anyway. And you know, the mess bottles as well, they're just clear pet bottles. And obviously you can store it in aluminium or glass bottles if it's a bit heavy. But you know, you can, you can store it in pretty much whatever the alcohol is. It's, it's, it's good like that, it's very inert. So this is brief montage of testing, not showing all of them. <laughs> you can see that the Speedster leaks. <laughs> And here's the banana boat aloe vera bottle. And it doesn't leak. Here's the T-Zone bottle. And that doesn't leak either. And here's the travel pump bottle. And it doesn't leak either. I think my favourite has to be the banana boat aloe vera gel bottle. It's very much a bottle you wouldn't drink from. And also you can also take off the lid if need be but it just doesn't leak. You can feel the resistance in, in a bottle that is, is air, you know, pretty much liquid tight. You can usually feel the resistance, especially if you've got water in it. Uh, and as I say, always test with water in these things. And these T-Zone from Poundland, these skincare bottles, again, an interesting thing about these is that that's compatible with ours and these. And the travel bottles all have the same thread. So you can, uh, I would say, recommend the travel bottles as well because these seem to be really leak-proof if you screw it on for a tight. I mean, there's always a danger with the, with the caps that the, the cap could come open in your bag. So there's, there's always that. If you're worried about that, maybe use the pump. I need to test that in anger. But it seems to work quite well. It sprays it a bit far, though. But if you're spraying it quite close to your burner, it should be fine. My least favourite is the boots saline maybe other bottles are better but this one leaks and big demerit to the speedster proper fuel bottle which like the vargo you can you've got the problem with the nozzle maybe coming open and leaking you can, you can put some tape on that or a rubber band but when i invert it i can i can actually squeeze stuff out the edges this top does not have a tight fit so it's not that's not that good i'm tempted to go with these in future and if i have a problem with the flip cap coming open either tape it or or use the pump the pump caps uh, another one is obviously i think 
An interim is the mouthwash bottles because the large ones come with the, obviously a little cup which you can use at, to measure with. So that's quite useful. This one I'm not sure about because it's the lovely big bottle but it's, I'm not sure if the alcohol needs to be aerated. <laughs> that's a bit bulky and heavy. My heart still belongs to these my first fuel bottle because these are very good and very leak proof uh, shame I don't have it in a bigger size because you know 100 mil I can use it up in a couple of days 250 mil is sort of a long weekend like three four three and a half to four days is 250 mil and hence why I was looking for bottles at 250 mil 300 mil if I had like 10 of these and I'd probably just take 10 of the little bottles but the bigger bottles seem to be more difficult to find reliably. And let me know in the comments what your favourite fuel bottle is. I think in, in a sense it's really a personal choice and I'm sure people will tell me, oh, don't use that, or that's terrible. So let me know in the comments and, you know, <laughs> let me know if I'm a big baby. As I was, that was one of the recent ones, being told I was a big baby. That was a good one. I do trip videos and review videos like this about how to do thrifty hiking and how to, you know, you do bargains like Poundland and places like that and recycle and green things. You might like this video that I did about coal stoves versus wood stoves and I hope you enjoyed this. So anyway, this big baby says bye and I'll speak to you soon.